What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple technique you can use to blend in CG assets that you want to integrate into a live action shot. This technique involves texture painting on your 3D model along the seam of where your element meets the background in order to blend in that area that can often feel a little uncanny. Let's get started. All right guys, so here we are inside of Blender and currently in my scene, I've added this medieval asset from our City Builder 3D add-on on top of this hill on the left of frame. Now it's looking okay at the moment, but I like to try to blend in these edges down at the base of our asset into the ground with a bit more control using this texture painting process I've mentioned. The first thing I want to do is create a new UV map for texture painting. To do this, I'll select our asset, go to the Object Data Properties tab, add a new UV map in the UV Maps panel, and label it UV for Blend. For this specific example, I want to create a UV map that is unwrapped and projected from the camera's position so that we can use a still from our footage to blend in the edges of our asset via camera projection of the live action shot. To do this, I'll tab into edit mode, select our entire asset, and while in camera view on frame 1, I'll press U and project from view. Now that I've created this new UV map, I will go back into optic mode. Now what I want to do is find the material that includes this base of the asset where I want to paint the blend area onto. I will select the asset and go into shading mode inside of Blender. Then once again, I'll tab into edit mode and select the face that includes where I want to blend so that the material in that area pops up in our shader editor. Now we know which material we need to add the texture painting data to within the node setup. In this case, it's tower2 underscore wall1. With this material in the shader editor open, I'll find the area right before our material output, press shift A and add a mix shader to the node setup. I'll press shift A again and add a diffuse shader to the bottom input of the mix shader we just added. This is just a temporary shader as we set up things further. I'll press shift A again and add an image texture node and connect it to the factor input of our mix shader. Now we'll create a new image texture to use as the factor input. For this example, I'll make my new image 3000 by 3000 pixels, but this depends on how much blending detail you would like to add. I'll name it Paint Blend and click OK. We'll also add a UV map node, select our new UV for Blend map, and connect it to the vector input of our new Paint Blend texture. Now it's time to paint the area where we want to blend in our asset with the texture painting process. I'll switch the mode to texture paint and in our active tool and workspace settings I'll make sure our correct material slot as well as our new paint blend image we created is selected. Now we'll paint on the areas where we want to blend in a new color onto our asset or overlay plate data from the live action shot. Adjusting our strength and radius settings to get a nice blend. Now if we go back to object mode and go into render view, you'll notice that the area where we painted is now our diffuse material that we added to the bottom input of our mix shader. At this point we can change the color of the diffuse material to something similar to the color of the ground in our live action shot to more easily integrate the asset into our scene. Or we could also create a slightly more complex shader setup to overlay the image projection of our plate onto this painted blend map area as well. To do this I'll duplicate our mix shader and add a new one right after our diffuse material. Then I'll press shift A and add a new image. I'll select the still image from our live action shot and add this to the bottom input of our new mix shader. I'll then add a UV map with our new UV for blend mapping for the projection and connect it to the vector input of our still image. Now by using the factor input of our mix shader, we can add a subtle amount of the plate on top of our CG element and blend it more seamlessly into the environment. You can of course play around further with this node setup for more control, but this is the general concept. Finally, make sure to save your new texture painted blend map that you have created by going back into texture paint mode and saving all of the images. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. This is one technique you can use to blend in your CG elements into your live action shot. You can apply this painting technique in tons of other ways as well, so I hope this video was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want to learn more visual effects techniques, and I'll see you next time.